When we're building an interface, there's a few things that we'll need to use in order to design and configure it correctly. The first thing you'll notice within the interface designer is what's called the component palettes. The component palette lists all the different kinds of things you can include within your interface. You'll notice it includes things like layouts, which create the structure, and some of our individual components as well, like inputs, display fields, or more advanced components too. Now, when we're creating our first interface, we're, we're generally going to select the objects from the components on the left, and then add them into the middle section, which we call the canvas. The canvas is where we can see what our interface looks like and move things around if necessary. So just as an example, if I'd like us to start with a form, I can select a form, drag it into the canvas, and then you'll see that it changes the view within the canvas to allow me to easily edit how the interface is set up. Now I can also add in other components if necessary by simply dragging and dropping them directly into the canvas. Now within the canvas, there are also a couple of different tabs that allow you to see different kinds of information. You're generally going to start within the Edit tab, which enables you to easily add and move components around within the interface. However, often, if I want to test things in the interface, it can be helpful by viewing the Preview tab. So you'll notice the preview hides the canvas, and it also allows us to easily enter in information into any of the fields on our form. Now, keep in mind that you can still do that within the Edit view. I can still enter in some information, but often when I'm testing everything at once, it can be a little bit more clean and straightforward if I'm using the preview. The last tab you'll see at the top is the performance view. The performance view allows us to see statistics about how long it takes to load each part of our interface, and it can display information about each of the components, or even things like expressions or queries that we might be using within our interface. You'll also notice that once I've added in my interface and I've actually added in a form and a couple of components, you'll now see the component configuration panel on the right hand side. Now the component configuration panel is exactly what you might expect. It allows us to select certain components and define the configuration of each of those. You'll see I have this text field selected and you'll notice that on the right hand side I can easily change the configuration of all the properties for this field. So if I wanted to change the name of this to something else, you'll notice that it immediately updates within the canvas to display this, so we can easily get a preview of what our interface is going to look like. Now, you'll notice that mostly it displays the configuration of our properties. If you expand this a bit further, you can also see within the component configuration a list of all of the components and how they're set up within the interface. Now, as you start to get a lot of components, if you're adding different layouts like sections, columns, side by side, it may be easier to navigate using this view on the right hand side. So if I simply select a different component, if I choose the form for instance, notice the component configuration changes to allow me to change the information for that form. So it makes it a lot easier for us to access just the information we need within each area of the interface. Now the last thing that we'll need to select within any interface is our rule inputs. The rule inputs are used to define any information that we're either retrieving, say from a record or a previous step within a process, or information that we're capturing. So if a user enters in some information and we want to save that to a process or other place within Appian, we're generally going to use rule inputs for creating those. These are the main areas that you'll be using within the interface designer. The last thing to keep in mind is that there also are a couple of different modes that you may be using. Probably most of the time, especially when you're starting out with your interfaces, you'll be using what we call the design mode. The design mode allows you to select objects from the component palette, add them into the form, and view how they are currently configured. However, each interface in Appian is also represented by an expression. So if you'd like to see the expression, you can also go to the expression mode, and you'll notice that on the left-hand side, it now displays the full text of the expression for this interface. At this point, we've looked at a lot of the different panes and navigation areas within the interface designer. So if we want to add components or view components, we can see which area we're going to use. 
However, I'd like us to also take a look at an example form and see how we might be able to change some of the components within this interface. Now keep in mind that you generally want to start with some kind of top level component. If we have a form, then we always want to add in a form layout. So I could select the form layout from the left, or in this case, I've cleared and, and started a new, I'm going to just add an example form. And then everything inside of this form is going to be added to the form layout at the top level. Now keep in mind, this is always necessary if we're using a form. If you're using a record or a report, you don't necessarily need a top level layout, but the reality is that most of the time you'll be adding things like sections or columns or other components to help you structure your interface a bit better. Now once we've added the layout itself, you can see on the right that it adds in several different components since we are using an example. And I can easily navigate to each of these components as necessary within the component configuration. Now in addition, I can also modify objects directly within the main page here. So if I'd like to just select and move an object around, notice it makes it very easy for me to select the component and put it in a different place. You see this pink line is going to appear anytime I want to move an object, and it tells me where this object is going to be added. Notice as well that if there's a couple of different places I might be able to add something, I can also see a gray box around this to display exactly where this component is going to fit. So right now I'm adding it to say the column layout, if you see the gray box at the top, and now if I add it to the section or to the form, it's going to be displayed a bit below this. Now within each component, there are also some additional configuration options. So for instance, I can delete the components if I'd like to by just selecting the option within that component. Of course, if I want it back, I can go to the undo or control Z as well. And then once I get it back, if I'd like to, I can even do things like duplicate to easily add in similar components one after another. So hopefully when you get in and actually start trying this out yourself, you'll see how easy it is to move things around and change the way that your interface is displayed.